Apologies for sweaty Gretchen right now. I'm at the gym and this video is brought to you by Deep Thoughts on the Treadmill. <laughs> so I, um, in preparation for my jaw surgery, have been trying to lower my resting heart rate by getting on the treadmill, getting my heart rate up to 130 or higher and then sustaining it for 30 to 60 minutes. That is some boring ass work, y'all. Sorry for the swear word, but that's what it feels like. Boring ass work. But I am the queen of all things anti-boring. And so I find myself going through a process whereby I want to push hard, like get through it. Come on, you can do it. You can do another five minutes. You can do another. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I'm trying to tolerate the hard work to get to the end. And certainly sometimes we need to tolerate the hard work for sure. But I found myself thinking about while I was finding different ways to like, use my hands i even at one point i'm walking fast and i'm touching my fingers like this <laughs> i'm just like what else can i do oh yeah i can work on my wrist flexibility while i'm walking fast what else can i do oh yeah i can punch up i can drum i can drum what else can i do what else can i do <laughs> but i found myself thinking about how many things in life we tolerate and we try and push through the way they are. Work, sex, relationships, friendships, like romantic and friendships. School, right? School, school, we push through school. We push through studying, this sucks, but I just gotta do it. Or I'm not gonna do it, right? I gotta do it or I'm not gonna do it. And I was thinking how maybe the most important skill we can impart into our young ones, besides kindness and love and connection to other people that's the most important but this is what i'm about to say is related to self-love actually so it's connected to the idea of love the most important skill might be okay i lost my thought i'm gonna find it how do you notice when you're trying to push through something that feels so hard and how can you make it more pleasant in some way? How can you make it more anti-boring? We can't make things fun all the time, but we can notice when there is that pushing sensation, that grinding sensation, or that deadening inside of us. How do we notice that? And how do we develop the ability to brainstorm, to troubleshoot, to mix it up, to remember that it maybe doesn't have to be so hard, and there are tips and tricks and ways to make it anti-boring in all aspects of our life. What relationship are you in right now that you are tolerating, that you are pushing through? And is there a way to mix things up? What study process, what class are you just detesting? It's feeling horrible to try and get through. What can you do to mix it up? What workout are you trying to do? that you're dragging yourself through and how can you mix it up? It's maybe the thing that I love most about myself. <laughs> it cracks me up in myself that I am constantly, constantly trying to mix up what's unpleasant. And man, has the surgery process, preparation process been unpleasant. Man is sometimes work unpleasant. And I just have this brain that's looking for the next thing that might be a little bit more fun. I don't want to push through so much in my life anymore. I want joy. I want play. I do want the fruits of hard labor. I do want that. But not at the expense of my spirit and my soul. And how can we teach students, our young ones, to not just push through and do hard things, but how to mix it up and make, make the hard things more anti-boring so that we can have joy in doing the hard thing instead of just always suffering and trudging. My answer to that with learning is the anti-boring toolkit, which you can start learning right away for free if you are an educator who wants to learn how to teach kids how to mix things up at GretchenWagner.com slash secrets or secret. I never remember if it's singular or plural. 
gosh, that was a silly name to give it. <laughs> but we will put the accurate link below. And I wish you just a beautiful day of finding something that you're tolerating and seeing if you can find a way to spice it up a little bit today. And maybe come back and tell us about it in the comments. Take care.